Hello there, everyone, and welcome back to the Elvian or La Vittoria and Nostra mod for Hearts of Iron 4, in which basically we have an Italian rework for Italy, but uh, Conte Rosa dies in Spain. Arco Novaldo Bonacorsi, known as Conte Rossi, the Red Count has been killed in the Spanish Civil War, with the Republican forces closing in on his Dragoons de la Muerta division. Bonacorsi refused to surrender and led a valiant last stand before he, along with his men, were wiped out by the advancing Republicans. Bonacorsi was instrumental in the early success of the Nationalists in subjugating the Balearic Islands, but as the tide changed, it became impossible for his men to overcome the Republican forces. A sad day for the F-word. But, this is where we left off, and, uh, did I do some of these focuses off-screen? I might have, I might not have, I honestly cannot remember the time of recording. Um, but yeah, we did get to Real Academia d'Italia. And we're currently doing synthetic fuels, so our scientists of engineers have developed several promising options for synthetic fuels. We must focus on the development of its alternative resource. Immediately, in Bella Italia, so we're also trying to industrialize uh, southern Italy, which would be very nice. The Kingdom of Italy has undergone a miraculous, enormous transformation. We're now one of the world's most foremost economic powers, which we would like to do. I'd like to get this stuff too, but I think we need to invest in the colonies. It's not a bad idea, but so much. There's so much. While we could be doing stuff over, well, could we do this one eventually? Well, we need more uh, daily F word party support, so. Latin academic schools conquered Greece, our bitter enemy. We could do that as well, but we still have over here is two. Hmm. Hmm. Naval experience gain. Yeah, like I said, I think we're probably going to go down for this one over here, so. Expand the Regi Regia Marina. We're an ocean going people. The sea is our domain. We must focus our resources on improving our naval forces to compete with the other major powers. Nice. And the Toro class is a ship, so hopefully we do well here. Um, honestly. <sighs> Finish Spanish Civil War. If we don't complete this, we'll reduce our military readiness by 10%. Which does kind of suck. I mean, it's 170 days. Uh, I mean, we'll do the best we possibly can, but like... I, at this point, we, I might just as well do this. Oh, look at that. Oh, that's pretty nice. Go in. Kill them off. There we can. Drive straight for Barcelona, maybe? Nice. There you go. Cool. Uh, another division is always very good to have as well. Very, very good. Um, just don't get in circle, please. That would really suck. Cool. Huesca. And over there. Go and do that too. I really want to finish this war off very quickly. Just go straight for like Barcelona if you possibly can. And you guys go here and do that. Let's go that division over there. If you can. Uh, are you getting attacked too, my son? Oh boy. Oh boy. Go cool. on. Keep beat him up. 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 You keep doing what you're doing. Come on. Come on. Come on. My goodness, it takes forever to do this. Next. Synthetic all experiments are very nice. And another division. Nice. Good. Yeah, I don't know if we'll actually be able to complete this in time, which does suck, but... We can see more volunteers. I want to go to war with them as well, but... We already spent 30 days doing this. We, we really need to probably do this. It's imperative that the Spanish director is triumphant in this war. To ensure the victory, we must increase our involvement by sending more men and material to Spain. Or Spain. Yeah, Spain. Spain, yeah. How many more guys can we send now? Five. Oh wow, five more. Screw it. So no five. Actually, these guys aren't very good. Yeah, they're not very good. Uh, yeah, definitely not you guys. Um, twelve. Con oh my gosh, you're only twelve combat with. You guys are twelve. Uh, you guys are actually twenty. So I'll use you guys and send you. Well, we'll see what happens. And do we have planes here still operating, working. Well, we can send a lot more now, which is actually pretty nice. Go up to 100 now. Go over there. Do we have any planes around here? Do we have any casts? Yes, we do. I do want to send some casts over here as well. Yeah, that's fine. Help them out. Help them out. I want you to hold go here. Yeah, I don't think we'll be able to get it done within a certain amount of time. You know what? It's because it's our first campaign in this mod, I think I might just use uh, go to the back and do some funky stuff in the background here. Because this is crap. Like, come on. Spain, come on. I did not want to have a three, four-way Spanish Civil War. I don't like that at all. Uh, Giovanni Messi. You guys come up here, too. Capitulate these, at least one group first, and then capitulate the other side, hopefully. That's going to involve me even more. Oh, wow. Yeah, we're not going to be able to complete it. That's stupid. I don't like that at all. That's one of the things I really don't like about this. But, oh well, for now. Better light tanks, good. Force the attack. Oh, there goes China. 
It's 38 though, huh? Force it. You guys going as well? If you can, when you get down here. I do not care. Force it. Come on. You can do this. Yeah, they're doing force defense as well, so I'm like, that's a bunch of crap for us. <sighs> yeah, I'm going to have to do it. I'm going to have to use consequence because I wanted to get this done. And it's not our fault that this Spanish Civil War just decided to screw us over. So, um, military guns. Do we have enough infantry equipment? Eh, that seems okay. Navy ships or planes. How is our planes looking? Yeah, we could probably use some planes. Because this is crap. I mean, they're just literally doing force defense. I mean, come on, man. Seriously? We get screwed over here because of this? Yeah, no. No. I'm sorry, but I'm not going to tolerate that type of crap. Yeah, you're going to force the attack. If they're going to do force defense, we'll do force attack. Look at that. Force defense. Earlier. And they failed or lost because, well, they stopped doing force attack. These guys are almost defeated, actually, which is pretty nice, but... Come on, come on, come on, come on. Good, they died. As they should. Go straight for Barcelona. Straight for Barcelona. Come on, yeah. I don't want these consumers, but we're gonna have to. Oh my god. Just kill them. They cannot pierce you, can they? No, they cannot. And you have air superiority. Oh! Whoa! Whoa! Protest against the Kaiser leads to war. So we're back to 1914. Well then, I was not ready for that one. Um, group military readiness. We are we are not ready to go to war. Holy crap! Uh, Peter Moniz's tradition. Less I mean, I mean speed, but minimum training level. Oh boy. Grand battle plan. We'll implement the binary division. This will increase the weight of our infantry. We get better division training time. And this is for mobile warfare. So we'll probably go on the left side then. Infantry leads? Yeah, I'll probably go Peter Mondi's tradition. The long tradition of the Italian army to focus on the army defense. Buoyed by quantity of troops instead of quality of officers is the right approach. Which I'm not sure if I really believe either, but I'm not going into war. Germany under attack. Yeah. Kaiserville on the second returns of Germany. Well, we'll see about that after I make sure we don't lose the stupid little Spanish Civil War. Alright, everyone. So, I'll be honest. Yep, console commands just because... In our first campaign, when we get screwed over with a four-way Civil War in Spain after, like... From a two-way to a four-way. I don't like that. But, oh well. Whatever. We're going to align them regardless. Franco and the Spanish nationalists are our natural allies, united by religion, culture, and ideology. Together, we would form a formidable partnership that could see as Gibraltar and control the Mediterranean. Friend, that will be a useful step, of course. Nice. Um, let's see. Infantry leads would not be too bad. Improves the military readiness by a little bit more as well. Uh, ooh, it's not bad either. We lose some political power, but we did get some more stuff. Commando Supremo. Disband the... Black shirts. Chemical Nera. Well, that's what the division we're mostly using right now. 119 soft attack. 39 soft attack. Oh, that's really bad. Or integrate the MVSN. Uh, I'll just see this one. Commando Supremo. The current military command structure is overly complex and provides vests. Too much power in Benito Mussolini. The military needs a reform command structure that allows the generals to make decisions. And we do have quite a bit of political power here, but I do want to grab this guy. This guy seems pretty good. The sim director, an operative slot, agency upgrade, town goes down, more army intel, better counterintelligence, more land doctrine research, speed. I think that overall sounds really, really nice. So we're going to go with that guy. Grab some of that. And as you can tell, I'm, I'm not going into the war against the Germans. I am not interested in any sort of war like that just yet, so no thank you. And we're not ready. We're not 100% military efficiency yet, so nah, we okay. When we complete it, maybe, but right now, no. We're at 75%. Armor divisions, I don't understand. We have at least 10 armor divisions. So, yeah, that literally makes no sense to me. But, oh well. There, we converted to that. Demo, we have enough? At least 10. No, we don't, which is stupid. Infantry supplies, so we'll turn that and establish additional fuel reserves. Maximum fuel of 750,000 or more. Well, we are nowhere near that. We're trying to build ourselves up a little bit more. But, of course, I can see we're nowhere near that. Bol Poland seeks Baltic cooperation. Um, I don't want to disband them. I want to integrate them. Improve our light tanks? Might not be a bad idea. The black shirts prove the greatness of fascism in our personal vanguard of the Duce. By his order, they are to be integrated into the army and receive the highest level of equipment and training. 
slightly reduced military readiness, but whatever. Um, 85% is pretty good still, but... France realigns a foreign policy. Are we next? Oh, this is a pretty nice axis, actually. That's pretty nice. Got some comments to go through as well, as long as they stop killing off their own manpower, but whatever. Uh, let's go over here, yeah. Giocomo. And after this one, improve our tanks would probably be a good idea. Heavy tanks and develop medium tanks. Improve our tanks. For far too long, our tanks have been hindered by the slow research and production of tank duopoly. It's time for new designers to offer ideas, though through competition we shall produce better tanks. Tank duopoly is what? Oh my goodness, that's so bad. Special citizenship, huh? Guys, please. Please stop attacking. Please. Um, 85, nothing here yet. So now we have at least 10 armor divisions. I don't understand why that takes so long to do. Um, and we have more than 25% of fielded support equipment in the stockpile. We need more guns and 30,000 units of equipment in the field. In the country. 1,000 units. Cool. Oh, we can't do this one yet. Oh, crap. Infantry leads? Well, why not? The Great War showed us earlier that the only infantry only infantry can do the main push, and an infantry reduction should help us greatly. Alright. Because it's only 38, it's almost 39, but I don't want to go any further than that. Uh, we could maybe buy a few more guns, I suppose. It's fine with us. Support weapons are nice. If it's going to come 39, just go and do Disperse Industry next. And we're trying to get some more fuel here. Um, yeah. Just because I want to get that extra military readiness. Then everything else is kind of okay. Yeah, if we can get that one done, that'd be really good, but... Prepare the military is not active. Get 100%, prepare the military, get that done, and then go to war with Germany, probably. So... Not bad. Meet and is by itself. Look, looking pretty okay. We do have quite a few ships here, which is nice. Pretty nice. Not great, but not bad. And get 1.7 political power every single day. Looking high here. No and defense. It's not bad, but still. That's much great. All is very nice, but we got some more construction speed. And then the division support. Infantry is nothing without adequate support. By investing in the support supporting branches, it'll enhance the military capability of our troops. Bro. Go get your own manpower stuff. 85% is not bad. We're currently at half, over half a million, which is not bad either. I mean, even if we join the war, that literally means nothing. Um, yeah. If you guys need to train, go and train. We're not at war, so that's fine with us for now. Cool. Infantry supplies, looking not too terrible. Few reserves. Cool, cool, cool. Grand Assault's nice. Go, uh, Infiltration. And then we'll maybe do this one as well. Or we'll keep going down a certain a different way. A fiat's very nice as well. Oh, Bella Italia. The Kingdom of Italy's undergone a miraculous economic transformation. We're now one of the world's foremost economic powers. Yeah. Was that the one we needed? We needed one of these two, but I don't remember. Uh, since we're making stuff, get some better of that too. Thank you very much. Go buy some more arty. Heavy guns, stop enemy armor. Probably anti-tank. Get some more artillery pieces. We, we could always use more artillery shells. We're going to run out eventually anyway, so... That's fine with us. Alright, so the National Spain done, thank God. Vision support is good. Bella Italia for another research slot. Mmm, prospect for oil would not be bad. Probably Val Valo Alpino. War is inevitable when our enemies surround us. We must construct great fortifications along our alpine borders to defend against possible invasions. Keep working and making that stuff for now. Once we get to 750,000, we should be okay, but... I love getting more fuel. So, we need one more, and then we'll be golden. I don't see the point of going to war right now with Germany, though. A couple comments, though. Uh, someone says I should play Kaiser Redux, Thang Shan Dynasty. We'll see. Maybe eventually. We'll see eventually. Uh, Bulgaria... Are you... What's going on, Bulgaria? It's our boy loyalists. Um... You have quite a bit of fascist support there, but so do you. You're doing war logistics. I played as Bulgaria before. When we battled before the Bosporus DLC. It's alright. Uh, I'm not really sure. I don't want to support either side here. Yeah? Yeah, I don't know, man. Oh. Nice, 100%. Going to war with a major nation before we're ready will result in significant negative consequences. Good, so now we can go to war, but is there really any point to go to war right now? I mean, like, for realsies. So we got the fuel stuff done. You guys go there, you guys train, because we're going to need a lot of naval XP future for the future. 
You guys train as well. So much for fuel. Oh well, bye bye fuel. And get some more planes to train as well. Medium bomber transport into our fighters. Yes. Cool. Do that. Get some more casts. Very nice. Keep going. Keep going. Um, research speed would not be bad. We could, I mean, we could, but is there really any point to? Not really, in my opinion, right now. Oh, can we have you again? Ooh. Oh, Mexico, Mexico's gone. This guy's not bad. No part of the government has a trait. Yes, I am. Huh. Alright, not bad. Black Prince. Devil Commander. That looks pretty cool. Has won a glorious battle against a major nation in East Africa. Enrico Fratini. Gianfranco Gazzana Prerogia. I obviously said that one very incorrectly, but whatever. Better cannons, get better uh, guns here, too. I mean, it's not like Germany has any allies right now, right? Yeah. Bella Italia. And then we'll go with invest in the colonies. Our colonial holdings are key to our economic growth. We must invest in their infrastructure, develop their local economies and resources if we're to turn them into economically profitable holdings. So. As Greece, yeah, they are in the Allies. That sucks. Someone does recommend we should go to war with them too, but I mean, we could. It'd probably be better to do it now than later. Um, so from since we have the next research slot now too, which is nice, uh, get more of this stuff. Honestly, it's not that ahead of a time. Are we making any sort of naval bombers? Medium tanks would be nice too, but we'll see. There you go. Naval bombers at all? Oh, we are sort of making some naval bombers. Could definitely use more rubber though. Boost it up, boost it up. Get some rubber. And invest in the rubber, too. There you go. A slightly better. And grab one from you guys, too. Oh, we need a lot of naval bombers. A lot of fighters, too. Let me do that one first. We would like to go to close economy, but we can wait for that one. Um, gun stuff, artillery, motorized. We're going to use that one a whole bunch, anyways, whatever. Would it be okay to open up a second front against these guys at all? Would they attack us actually if we pulled back our, our divisions? Head on back. Rodolfo! And actually, since you're here, we've got these divisions, which are actually 20 combo with, which is not bad. These guys, too, are 40 combo with. Or 20 combo with. We should make them 40 combo with as well, huh? Uh, I guess that, too. 29 days is really nice. Why don't we justify these guys? They're not being guaranteed by anybody. Two, oh my god, 280 days? Are you kidding me? Holy crap, that's not worth it. Hello. Oh. Okay. Thanks, Romania. Thanks. Thanks for joining the Latin Axis. Puppet of Yugoslavia, huh? Infantry offensives. Oh, uh, yeah, we just need to get some... Okay. Not bad. Uh, Greece or our bitter enemy? We could probably go to war with these guys and be okay with it, yeah. There's Yugoslavia time now. Our bitter enemy. We can pull this off no longer. We must end the Yugoslavian problem once and for all. Which, it's not good right there. It's okay-ish over here-ish. But you guys are already over here-ish. What if I just stacked you all over here-ish? Probably a bad idea. German Empire claims Mimel. All right, go do that. This will give us some good time. To get some naval, naval XP or just XP in general. There's gonna be a lot of divisions here. Probably a really bad idea to do that, but whatever. All right. I don't want to go to war yet, man. After a bitter enemy, I do want to do this one though. But we need more fascist support. We're only at seventy percent. So also Savoy, nothing there. They love us a lot. Propaganda efforts, political actions. Uh, no, we could remove Mussolini, but nah. Realize Roman ambitions. Can we not do the thing that we just finished? Rubber processing, nice. Some more extraction. Weird. Yeah? We bought more guns, don't really feel like it though. Keep getting more fuel for now. They're not attacking you, which is fine, but still. Um, 
Yeah, well, this is a pretty big, ac pretty big axis, not gonna lie. I like this. Angered by Austrian posturing, which makes sense. And, ooh. Tackle the barbarian threat. We need to show the Germans who's boss, or they'll show, who is, show us who's boss. But I do want to say, just in case, this might go poorly for us, but you never know. And for our first major war, that in which we... Well, not major war, I guess, technically, but... For our first war against somebody else, actual war, we can do that. Cool. Put you guys in a, all over the place. Get them set up a little bit first. Three, two... Actually, you know what? Let's come back down here. Any upgrades? Yes. Silent Hunter. And I want just chucking torpedoes. And you guys... Yeah, I like both of these, actually, so... Grab some Magician and stuff like that. Activate Finish War with Yugoslavia quickly. This should call you guys into the war, too, yeah? Nice. Get a war with these guys as well. So we have a mission now. House of Savoy. Alright. Well, I hope that I give you orders. There you go. Just don't lose the port, for the love of God. Split. Oh, we got him. Nice. Not bad. Not bad. Oh, look, there goes those guys. Nice. Hey, convoy sunk. Yay. Yeah, it's completely surrounded on all sides. We're going to war with Yugoslavia before we go to war with... Ooh, war bonds. Oh, yes, please. Um, Albania or something like that. War propaganda? Don't really need that either. Foreign influence? No, okay. Tunisia? No, no. Econo economy stuff? No, no, no. If we do this, complete the king. Com please the king. Please the king. It's all good. Please them, please them, please them. Couch eight thousand versus fifty two thousand is not too bad. Yeah, it's not too bad overall. Where are you guys at? Tanks are just hanging out, huh? I'll convert you all to no oh, actually, since we've some more naval army XP and we don't need to worry about that other stuff. Uh you're all this division, which is fine. But for the love of god, we're gonna need way more tanks. Light tanks are okay. I'm gonna throw in at least one medium, because we'll convert these guys to mediums. Remove, remove. Uh just remove the horses. There you go. There you go. And now you guys can all combine. There you go. Nice. Get our guys a little bit of XP, which is exactly what we want right now. It's not much, but we'll take whatever we can grab. Yeah, might as well go to war with Germany after this. That's why we want to go to war with Austria next. Um, dominate the sea is probably a good idea. Mm, terror bombings. Honestly, if you're going to get a national spirit, that's something that we would really like. Even though I'm never going to be using strategic bombers in this, so. Commando training. Air innovations. Recall Italo Balbo. He's not dead yet. Probably want to recall him. So, if you want to read about that one, please go ahead. I'm going to dominate through terror. Giulio Duhet was right. By bombing our enemies' vital centers, we will crush our morale. Through terror bombings, we can bring the enemies of the Italian kingdom to their knees. Yeah, these guys are screwed. Nice. Um, I'm not sure exactly sure how we're going to divide this up. I was going to just do, like, hopefully there's a peace deal here. But, let's see. Hungary, Serbia, Transylvania. <coughs> um, I'm just going to take everything first, and then maybe divvy it out that way. I... Don't know. We'll take at least Slovenia. Hungary, you can have that in West Banat, I suppose. Other than that, um, let me take all states. Cause can we like do the peace deal? A Savoy king for Croatia. Provisional government? Nope. Hmm. Create a collaborationist government in the independent state of Croatia. The king will support us in this. Thomas Law II. Uh. Romania, you guys destroy Bolshevism once and for all. Um, Italianization program. I mean, that's not bad either. Sun never sets. Interesting. Dominate North Seas versus Roman Union. 
Well, I mean, that would help us out. Istria, our roads lead to Rome has full control. Northern Epirus, our roads lead to Rome. That's not bad. Savoy, Albania. Northern Epirus. New Roman citizenship. Huh. Avenged Byzantium. We'll see. Maybe we will release them, because we can. But then again, it's factories. Yeah, I'll do it anyways. I want to see what this is like. Oh, look at this. That was uh, Ante Palovich. Anything there? No? No, they do the Thomas Law the second, though. Alright, war goals against the German Empire, huh? Could go to war with them. Probably whoop. Never mind. Wait, who's. Uh, they're not fighting anybody. They just joined the Allies, though. Belgium joined. Hmm. Hmm. Franco-German pact. Uh, what type of pact are you doing? You're trying to kill each other, man. Integralism? What is that? Uh, well, that's not bad. You get that guy as a political advisor. Uh, this is getting kind of weird. I'm not gonna lie. Djibouti? No, not today. Really don't want to go to war with the Allies. But apparently, these guys are guaranteed the independence of Austria. So, if we really want to mess with this world, well, wait for Austria. Because we can just go to war with, like, Greece and stuff like that. Let's just fight on the, on the fins. And if we do that, will the Allies guarantee their independence as well? That is a question. Mutual assistance block. I, mean, I don't mind going to war with the Germans, but focus on the true enemy. Is that the British? Yeah? Peace conference? Ooh. Oh, what the heck? Did we lose him? Uh, hello. No? Nice. Dominate the terror. Hmm. I want to call you Talabalbo. We sent Marshal Balbo to Libya because his popularity got out of hand, and perhaps because of unfounded rumors about him and the princess. But the time is coming to bring him back into the command structure. He's needed to help restore confidence in our air power. I don't want him to die, man. No death. Zero deaths. So now, since we did that, can we actually just go to war with you guys? No, nope, they're not going to guarantee them. What the heck? Armored operations. I know I'm taking my sweet booty time with this, just making sure we don't go to war with other people yet. But at the same time, we're gonna need to do like this capture ship. No. Ah, that one. That's fine. Speaks against Finland. That's fine. Unsinkable carrier. Dominate the ground. Air innovations. It's not bad. With Bulgaria. It probably will do Massimo, as much as we like doing the small stuff. I like going big. So, I'll program Massino, Massimo. The Navy has presented plans for a flotta de evasion, consisting of 10 capital ships, 4 aircraft carriers, 36 cruisers, and 75 subs. This bold plan would give us a fleet capable of competing with both the French and British Navy simultaneously. Yeah, I have a feeling we're going to go to war with those guys too. I'm just waiting for Germany to go to war with someone else. Hello. Where I like them large. Cool. Why are they not going to war with those guys? They will guarantee fascists, basically, in Austria, but not the non aligned people in there. Oh, you're fighting them too, huh? Well, safeguard the. Hmm. There goes Lithuania. I mean, for us, we're looking pretty darn good. If I go to war, what's the point? Yeah, but rearmament? I'm gonna go to war with this eventually, but still. What are we building? Nothing? Civvies? Get some more millies, too. There we go. Excavation, grab some fuel refining, just in case. We're winning. Hello. Sure, that's fine. Cool. They should honestly. They should lose wars because they're at war. 
Or I guess they're not in the war, but they joined the Allies way too early. Focus on Europe. Oh boy. Oh boy. Hope our ships are ready, man. That looks, like, that looks pretty nice. Uh, five year naval plan. Rush to the aircraft carrier program. Oh, well, processing gets more extraction too. Um, are these mutually required to dominate the seas? With Russia, okay. So we can do the unsinkable carrier as well as continue the five year naval plan. Um, this is nice and all, but still. Carrier planes is not bad. Screening the battlefront. Ooh, yes. Escort effort. Nice. Yeah, that's probably, probably better. Mer Nostrum. CMRI. Marine technology. We got. We can't lose Africa when we do go to war, so. Um, just in case, let's, let's get the Conquered Greece one done so we can have it at all times. Greece threatens our dominance of Mer Nostrum, and the occupied lands are rightfully belong under the dominion of Rome. There, time has come for the capitulation of Greece. Happy 1940, everybody. Naval bomb is looking not too bad. I'll get some more fighters. Let me duplicate themselves first. I gotta do that. Duplicate, duplicate. Yes, train, train, train. And this is just in case. I'm glad it's a 35 day focus. Mexico joined the Allies, whatever. Well, they're not killing each other too hard. But and these guys are doing a relatively okay-ish. Not great, but still. Japan's doing okay. Um, I don't want to lose North Africa, so... We're going to do this up for you guys in half. You come back over here. Uh, we will go to war with the Allies eventually, so then have you guys come over here. Wait. How do we only have one division here? Do we, oh, we consolidate everything into a single division. Lots of squad. Actually, you guys are fine over this way. Yeah, actually, all the way down here, you should be okay. Uh, if that's the case. Alright, guys over here. You could do something like that. There you go. And you guys will hang out and do something else. Seriously, do they not go to war with the Finns? Why don't they justify on them? Hmm, the AI knows. Uh, Republic of Bulgaria, huh? I mean, we could go to war with the Allies now. I do want to finish off the Germans first, but there's nothing we can do. Unless we go to war with Austria. I'm really guaranteed by those guys, too. You know what, Switzerland? So be it. Conquer Greece. Uh, let's go over here and do this as well. Uh, this one's not too bad. From the AGIP. AGIP, Azean de General Italian de Petroli, is a company involved in the petroleum industry. Since 1926, it is a joint stock company with multiple Italian governmental entities having shares in the company. By further investing in the exploitation or exploration of foreign soils, we might be able to uncover some important oil for a wartime machine. Or a war machine. Hmm. Do that one is fine. Oh, we're pretty guns. This one, huh? Nice. I don't want to give him any more. Oh, Venezuela. Oh, that was quite a bit. Yeah. Uh, I'm waiting for these guys to kill each other off. Claim on Bessarabi. Oh, boy, that is not good. Oh, that might be something we might need to look at. Go with two for now. Get more medium tanks too. Um, yeah, that's not good. I do not want to fight the Soviets before I fight the Germans, but okay. You never know what might happen. Infiltration assault is nice. Grab some night assault tactics. Plane should be okay ish. We're still training over here. Bing bong boom. Uh, go half. You guys go there. One, two. Go there. 
Okay, there's one of these guys over here and one of these guys over here as well. Oh, okay, there's another one. Cool. Go out to the criticize for freak war for foreign policy. What do you mean? What? Do you want to die? Oh, we can't do this one either. Oh, we need full control of Istria. Do we not have Istria? Oh, what? Oh, that's so stupid. Yeah, I should have done that one. Are you... Okay, so maybe we'll come back. I don't know. We'll see. If we can take out Switzerland and then take out Germany and then take out the Soviet Union, I'll be kind of okay with that. I'll definitely be okay with that. Nice. Extra factory helps out. Excavation. Get some more artillery shells. I know we're not doing too much right now, like, in terms of warfare, but... It's all to build ourselves up. Any experience? No. Any experience? No. That sucks. Well, of Warsaw. From the Agip. Uh, Le Toranio Balbo. Libya is a vital piece of our growing empire, but it severely lacks infrastructure. Both roads and rails must be built in order to supply troops and uh, oh, look at this, improve the economic conditions of the colony. In honor of the governor of Libya, Italo Balbo, we shall name this project La, La, La Via Balbia. Nice. Thank you, Zander, reliability. Wait. Didn't we get rid of that? Oh, we didn't do the other one yet, so we gotta wait for that one. That's fine. Uh, infantry. Organization's always nice. It's fine. Keep getting more naval XP because we're looking pretty good on that. Pretty darn good. We'll hopefully we can go to war soon. Oh, it's Poland. Yeah, so it's ideals. The gym. What? Why did you join the Mita Moors? How did you join the Mita Moors? What? Huh? Uh, okay. We're doing some really funky stuff here now, but whatever. Fighter twos. Well then. I just want to go to war with Switzerland. That's all I want to do. And we'll do that very soon, so. Oh, if you're worried about this one, please go ahead. Libyan refineries. Developing the resources for the colony, colony of Libya Italiana. Before they're ready, we'll make them unable to complete their ex extraction projects. How do you know when they're ready? Does it tell you? Oh, Rodolfo's here. Oh, this one. Has to be a war. Oh, extraction projects. Has not completed the stuff, okay. Uh, built ten or more civilian factories. Ten or more cities, huh? There you go. And let's go with two more millies. So we're going to wait for that one. Let's do improve our tanks. Oh, they're actually attacking... Oh, look at that. Oh, did, they, did the Soviets send... Oh my gosh, the Soviets in... Oh my gosh, this is such a weird universe, man. God, I hope we can win here. It's like Goring and TNO. It's going to be pretty difficult beating out the Swiss. So, they reject demands. Oh, now they're, now they're guaranteed by... Mm. Can Germany stand to fight the Soviets and the French or left in access at the same time? Better go on soon. Um, I don't really don't know if we'll actually be able to do really that well, but we'll use 40 combos very soon.
Oh my god, they joined the Allies. Of course they would. Of course they would. Why wouldn't they? So now we have an open border here. God dang it. Are you kidding me? That's so stupid. I mean, it makes sense why they would, but come on. We're gonna need a lot more fuel. We're, we're headed. Oh, uh, you got three naval bombs. Nice. Uh, you guys come down here. And you'll do that one. You'll go over here. Well, we'll destroy him. One way or another, so. Do not go to war with Germany just yet. Do not. Of course, they, they do have the Spanish down there, too. God dang Americans. I think they own the place. As soon as these guys are done, we'll take out Greece. Better artillery. Nice. Oh, make sure we got some good naval doctrine going, too. Promote Junior Valerio Borghiz to Admiral. He has demonstrated both an exceptional command ability and an admirable loyalty to El Duce. We should promote him to Admiral. Sure, why not? Uh, war bonds would be nice too, though. And there we go with the UK. God dang it. Just why? Oh, why? Um, actually, eh. We'll probably convert you to something else later on. Alright, so now we can't get any of this stuff, which sucks. So now we shouldn't go to war with the Soviets. Oh crap, they nearly invaded France. Are you kidding me, man? So alright, we'll deal with them later. Oh, we fight these guys too, which is, which is fine. I mean, once once Switzerland's gone, like we can separate our armies quite a bit more. There we go, they're done. There we go, cool. All right, so you guys, I'm gonna sacrifice Greece still. Let me come up here. Find these guys and kill them all off. Since we're here anyways, and we have enough manpower, probably make these guys 40 combat with. We could use bicycle divisions, but oh well. A lot of black shirts here. Um, there you go. Not too many at one time, but just enough. Nice, seems those convoys. Do our ships need any upgrades? Oh, they're learning at least a little bit. That's nice. And there goes the fins. Interception. Yep, now they're War of the Allies too, maybe? Maybe not, we'll see. Nice. Take Gibraltar, you ding dongs. Please take Gibraltar. Finland joined the Allies, alright, interesting. So, yeah. Wow. Seem to be doing okay ish down there. We will be running out of fuel just so. War bonds would be nice. Get in where you have to be. Get in where you have to be. We need Fortress Europa. Can you guys actually win there, maybe? Yeah, you might actually be able to win. We'll see. Get to the line. Get to the line. We're sacrificing this for now. It's fine. Ooh. Nice. Nice. What can we not get here? Ah. Uh, do what we can about that. Um. They blockade with the Portuguese convoys? We'll accept the offer to use Portuguese convoys to transport goods where our ships cannot reach. The morale of our troops will increase when they finally see their basic supply lines and issues fixed. Alright, not bad. But we can probably wait. Invade Malta. 
There's a pair that we take Malta from the UK, and the best way to deal with it is a pair of force. So we can overwhelm their defenses with a massive deployment of troops and seize control of the Mediterranean. Huh. I'd rather do that first. Just hold the line. That's all I want you to do is hold the flipping line. Nah, we're good. Oh, we need way more guns and artillery now. Holy smokes. Hopefully our allies are doing well over there. It's time for us to push. Push in, boys. Belgium's going to fall. Then we'll take out the rest of continental Europe with us. And then maybe North Africa as well. We're doing okay-ish around here. Not great, but okay-ish. Alright, not bad. A lot of convoys going bye-bye. Love, 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 love. You learn anything, Spear Tactician? Are you learning anything here? Yes, yeah, Spear Tactician and Fleet Protector. Ooh, that sucks. Got some convoys. Push them out. Nice. Entire Greek task force has been destroyed. Uh, so got that stuff. Got some better carrier planes here too. We're about to run out of fuel. God dang it. Oh boy. Oh, that's not good. Retreat. Honestly, this battle could be going a lot worse for us. All right then, that wasn't too bad. This one is really good. This one we lost a heavy cruiser as well. We sunk two of them though. We lost nine destroyers, but two light cruisers and eleven destroyers. So actually, considering everything we had there, that wasn't too bad. Where are we getting naval invaded? I'm not really sure. They're probably going to invade Rome or something stupid like that. Go in, go in, take Brussels. Oh hello. Yeah, go ahead and yeah. There goes Strotskinator. That's definitely turned into a one heck of a bloody war. A three-way bloody war. Who is this? The UK what's UK right there? Go, 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 go. Oh, Brussels has been completely cut up. Killed them all. And we'll send some guys down to Africa. Alright, so now that that's almost done and take care of. Come on, hurry up. We will invade Malta. We will invade... Well, Gibraltar's fallen, which is nice. We... Oh, 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 oh. Did we take the Suez? Oh my gosh, we're taking the Suez. Nice. The Suez has been cut off, or the Mediterranean has been cut off from the Allies for Greece. So they're trapped. They are 100% trapped. I see a little smile on my face. Yay. All right, so since we're, since we're at war anyways, um, lots of academic schools would not be bad. Living refiners. They're not ready yet, though. Gold for the fatherland. Oh, look at that. Sacrifice must be made for the good of all. We shall encourage the wives of Italy to donate their gold wedding rings to support the economy. Was that a real thing? I guess it was, if it's a focus. Huh. Holy crap, 17 is not enough. Holy crap. Oh, that sucks. Oh, that sucks. Eastern Canada? Who the heck is it? Oh. I don't think anyone really cares about that area. Not gonna lie. Oh, hello! The Polish People's Republic is back. I'm glad we're not fighting the Comintern just yet. Whew. French Republic's in our faction too, which is nice, but still. Right, so you guys are done, which is great. So you guys are gonna head on down here. You're gonna do the best you can. You guys are going to head on down to Sicily, and then we'll put you down in North Africa. And then you guys are going to hang out and have a good old time, as we are going to try to go over here too. Well, I just come to, to the heel and boot. There you go, go there. I'll fix you up. Better oil is nice, because even some better oil after that. So far this could be a lot worse. 
And we will try to nearly invade. I promise you that. Oh. Oh, oh crap. They're still fighting the Jerry. That's right. Ooh. Passive defense, maybe. You guys doing okay down here? It's a Desert Fox, which is nice to see. Uh, but, uh, uh, fast planner, Earth Threat Planner. Throw is usually almost always better. There, nice. Two more heavy cruisers sunk. Awesome. Southern China, huh? Nice old tactics. Great. Now don't die over here. I know you're not Marines, but you're gonna have to sort of be Marines. Good luck. Don't die. For the love of God, do not die. Do you know where uh, planes around here? I'm gonna do that too. Um, yeah, we got another hundred naval bombers. Not bad. They have a fleet there that needs to be absolutely destroyed. Oh boy. Well, you landed. Good job. You did not completely die. Hmm. More fascist support. Uh, dominate the seas. Wouldn't be bad. Map possible. Dominate the ground. Commando training. Desert lessons. That'd be really good. Let's do that one. Commando training. The kingdom of Italy is surrounded by mountains and the sea, while the colonial interests are surrounded by mountains and desert. By increasing the amount of special forces in our military, we'll be able to better equip ourselves to face the challenges presented by our enemies. Can you guys go in yet? Nope. We've got like 12 more days left. That's fine. Um, can you guys go in at all? Doesn't look like it. That sucks. There you go. Not bad, not bad. As long as they can't get supplies, that's what that's what really matters, so. Pushing down through here too. This is oh crap, this is so bad. We lost the entire army here. Push up. We still might be able to break through these guys. I'm gonna force the attack here. I think it's over for you guys, so thank you for playing. That's either win or die, so. It's because supply is just so god awful here. Eh, call executive decision. Thank you for playing. You guys, though, you rock. Hmm, that might not be bad. We can take him out this way. Take out Iraq. Get some more fuel. Take it out Kuwait. Might be able to work. There goes Finland. Nice. Uh, so that stuff is mostly done. Got some cast, right? So we'll do that. Can you guys invade yet? Yes, you can. We'll see what happens. Oh, okay, boy, it was sunk. That sucks. Nice. Happy cruiser goes bye bye. Oh, they're trying to attack us too, huh? Force the attack. They have nowhere to run. Oh, look at that. Oscar, Oscar Griswold? That's one convoy, which sucks. Empire Brazil's gone. Uh, I'm gonna close economy. That'd be kind of nice. Oh, do we win? Yeah, we did. Destroy the British fleet here. Shrek them. Nice, we got them. 
The Mediterranean is fully closed off for now. And uh, should, as it should be. So now we got to deal with these guys, and then it'll be fully cut off. I'm very surprised you can't win here. Romanian fighter competition, if you want to be about that, please go right ahead. Yeah. Round of training. Uh, lessons from the desert. We've learned a great deal from our battles in the deserts of North Africa by learning our issues with supply, fuel consumption, and heat acclimation. We can better equip our troops to fight in these harsh conditions. Pretty much, man, pretty much. Any Allied divisions trapped there are going to really regret what well, the decision that they made. Alright, so if we have to fight the Germans too, I'm okay with that. Black shirt divisions are the best type of shirt divisions. You guys are okay, but not great. And we'll wait to convert those guys too. Uh, let's see. Oh, mobile warfare. Blitzkrieg. Uh, at this point, it doesn't really matter too much, honestly. Grand battle plan would be nice, but mm, army XP would not still be pretty nice to get, though. And I'll grab you. Oh, whoops. Oh. Yeah, I guess we... Oh, well, well, so well, whatever. I thought we could fix that earlier. My bad. Once Greece is gone, then we'll take out... Albania? How do you get more fascist support? Press censorship? Yeah, I'll probably do that one next. Overall, not too bad. Our guys have definitely learned some stuff, which is nice. Go be a torpedo expert. And then you guys, level 5, ground pounder. I don't want to lose any ships, so there you go. Go ahead if you have to. And we got also plan on invasion of Crete, so. And Mosul would be nice to get to. There we go. We're going to need a little bit more fuel from them. Not bad, not bad. Wow, we need a lot of guns. Uh, delete that division for now. Cut down to one. That helped us out a little bit, but shnikes. Alright, make, eh, make some tank divisions too. There you go, Naples. Lessons from the desert. Expand the Alpini divisions. It's not bad. Mountain guns. Uh, we got the movement stuff. Tanks. Tanks. Kind of want to continue the five-year plan just in case. If our navy is to be the leader in Mea Nostrum, we must ensure that our ships can compete with the French fleet. To that end, we will have to lay down two more battleships, the Roma and Impero. Look at that, nice. Proof competing machine, let's grab some better. Oh, hello. Wait, they're just fighting against us? Break the Anglo French colonial hegemony, huh? Alright then. Keep going, guys, keep going. Nice. Ah, another lacquers are good. We'll find them, we'll sink them. Triple Tanya. Very nice, very nice. Take Baghdad if you possibly can. <coughs> and that division's gone. And since we're here, you guys are over there. We'll pull the line if we need to, anyways. But, you guys are attacking. Fine, whatever. Oh, they're really just killing themselves off. So after this, we'll probably use these guys to navally invade Greece. It's probably for the best. A little bit more attack. A little bit more. Subsidiary carry roll. Nice. Grab some of that too. Uh, 
Um, Iran. Ah, there goes Iraq. Very good. Very good. Ah, the British Raj. Much more successful Italian campaign so far than I thought it would be. Nice. Good, good, good. Alright, so you guys are done, but not really, because we have to invade Greece now. So, we're going to take you guys. Go that many divisions, Let's go from here. Invade Heraklion. We go one, two, three. Get from here to Kalimantan or whatever it is, and then one, two. Invade from here to uh, this island. Yeah, might as well try it. And then one, two, go from here to Athens itself. See what you can do. See what you can whip up. Well, crap. Never mind. Excuse me, game. Thank you. Well, how lucky are we to have an army over here already? My goodness, are we that lucky. But crap. As we're trying to break through, and we are doing relatively okay here. I mean, we have, like, no guns. Like, don't get me wrong. We have, like, no guns. And no pieces of artillery. But. It could be so much worse. Well, since we're over here anyways... And I know we've no fuel, but whatever. Yeah, if we have to blow up the Turkish Navy, then so be it. Makes it a little easier for us, but whatever. Well, crap. Get on the line, boys. Get on the line. Nope. Nice. Very nice. I want to stop attacking, but at the same time, we're doing not terrible. Are we fighting them? <sighs> I don't want to go to war with the Germans, but okay. There we go. <sighs> Well, Turkey, you did this to yourself. And how are we losing that battle? Especially with air superiority, look at that. That's a lot of air superiority. 14? Let's hold the line for now. Because we're still doing well over here. Well-ish. How many men have we lost? That is... You know, that could be a lot worse. That could be a lot worse. We've killed a lot of Americans. A few Brits. A few... Not that many Turks, but we'll get there. Yeah, definitely going to need more into fuel as well. Nice. Some more from those guys as well. Hang out and hold out for now. Alright, five year naval plan is good. Screening the battle fleet effect. Production cost goes down. Mer Nostrum would be very good. Uh, CMRI would be awesome as well to do, but we're going to wait for that. Um, let's go back to some more other stuff here. Maybe? Is it possible? No, not yet. Latin academic schools. By building schools of the common language across our allies, we'll be able to better communicate and build a sense of unity. And to create a feeling of solidarity in our scientific communities, then they'll be more willing to share their findings. But we must also institute press censorship. But if you enjoyed the video, leave a like, subscribe if you're new, check out my Discord link in the description below. Let me know your thoughts on this campaign so far, because it looks like we've done fairly okay. Um, I forgot to get through some comments, such as, why not annex Ethiopia? Well, we didn't annex Ethiopia just because that would take a lot of extra resources that we don't have, and manpower and such like that. 
Go for the Italian Empire, someone says. Ally the Turks and Romanians and Bulgarians to fight the Germans and allies. Well, we can't do that now because Turkey decided to kill itself. And yeah, restore the monarchies across Europe with his mod sometime. We'll see what happens. But thanks for watching, guys, and have a great, 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 great rest of your day.